Hello YouTube, how's it going? I'm the Couch Gamer. Welcome back for another episode. Here we are in my survival hard and we are going to today show you some interesting things about villagers and why you need them and what you can accomplish. I got something really interesting for you. It'll take a couple episodes of this to get to. I just want to get you through the first step which is location and protection. Locate a village, protect it. Oh, this is an epic start here. Look at this sunrise. Everybody enjoys and respects a good sunrise. Let's just check this out. Even in a Minecraft world, it is amazing. Way up here in my base, man. Look at that. There's the mob spawner. It's doing great. Look at how beautiful that jungle is right on the back side of this desert wasteland. <laughs> Love it. And I got a Slurpee to enjoy it. That is beautiful. But time's a wasted. And we don't want to waste the sunlight. So while the monsters are frying and dying, we're going to head out and find us a village. Now I do happen to know where it is at. It's not that far of a journey. I was already ready for this, if my door will ever close. So I've already prepped a bunch of materials. Thanks to the jungle, I got a lot of jungle wood I already chopped up that I'm going to be taking with me. I got some ladders for absolutely no reason. With all my trips to the nether, I've already got a bunch of glowstone to use. I brought some stone slabs because, hey, I've been cooking a lot of cobblestone to make stone that I've been using now in some of my little crafted items. Grabbed a bunch of dirt because, hey, there's more dirt than anything and after leveling a mountain here, I think I grabbed a couple of fancy little stones to bring with us. We got some dorite andesite. It's all absolutely useless. I know that. Brought some torches, of course, for lighting up some surrounding areas. Try to force monsters to spawn further back. But I do know there is one straight back here. I'm pretty sure we may be seeing it before. Maybe not. That was how I first came across my beetroot. It was over there. And after a few detonations from creepers, I did help repair stuff to keep them happy and keep them farming. You know, rebuilt their stuff. But we're going to go find them. Protect them. And I'll eventually in another episode show you exactly what it is you can achieve that you probably don't know about in survival and I already know this works because I already did it in my other world just to confirm it because I thought it was a croc <laughs> that's right I thought it was a croc somebody was BSing they just said it could work on console there was no confirmation they were doing it on PC so I was like no that doesn't work man that's an old thing that is outdated they've fix and patch that kind of crap up there's no way we would get that here on console and oh I put in the hours and it worked <laughs> now here's this great village that's prospering you can see where I've fixed things up and patched things up and some of the still existing damages done what I could get these guys happy. So this village is much bigger than the one I protected in my other place, I'll tell you that. It was only three tiny buildings crunched together. This is huge. Holy crap, guys. Are any of these buildings dead that we can write off? No, of course. They're all active. Wow. I think I bit off more than I could chew. <laughs> Speaking of chewing, I'm getting hungry. Starvation is your enemy. Alright. Well, I'll definitely be making this a tight one, so... If I need more resources, we'll have to fetch them. Gonna start basic and small here. Uh, corner to corner, I guess. Insides to outsides. Gotta protect the gardens, too. So they're about here. Please be a good spot. Hope I didn't screw that up too much. Whoops, not worried about bottom level right now. I can do fill ins later. Woohoo! We are so going to protect this whole place. Now that's already, I see the back of the building is already a wall, so that's already a bonus. I will cheat anywhere I can. <laughs> so if I don't have to place a block somewhere, I won't. I'll use the surrounding to my advantage. Wow, this really goes out. You guys have deliberately built the dumbest ass town, didn't you? That's alright. We'll work with it. We'll work with it. Or we'll leave an outside view there. I'll 
I need to protect them. I just gotta keep stuff out of here from getting in and from detonating and to keep these guys inside because I need them too. Just gonna fill in this little area here. Don't want anything sneaking in and through. Wow, I already burned through a stack and I'm just trying to outline this place. Excellent, this is working. In my last place I had literally built a wall around the entire place. It was just sitting in the desert, it was really small. Even went right around the water's edge. But these guys don't have to get out. So we won't let them. And watch out for that when you're doing stuff. They will jump things, they will get out. Make sure you got them all inside or be prepared to replace your villagers. But that's all part of the process. We're gonna do something awesome and make them very prosperous you'll see that you'll reap great benefits from it. Yes, this is a pretty cool thing I came across. I don't know why I just did, but I did. And like I said, it worked out in my favor. <laughs> that definitely wouldn't have been something for audio. <laughs> I don't necessarily want to put up that kind of material, but oof, it would have been great if I broadcasted it. Did I have some? Interesting choice words. <laughs> All in great excitement. Excellent. Like I just said, don't have to get everything everywhere. I just don't want anybody jumping out either. You're outside, you're outside, sorry. Zombies will get you. <laughs> the apocalypse is real, cow. Oh, those damn babies. This is why I gotta go around after and fill these in. I'll try not to worry about it right now, but. Just where it's necessary. Hey, seriously, you guys might have to sacrifice some of your farms. Holy crap. fail right there. Alright. Uh, not switching out to an axe, it's gonna take too long. Go on, hurry. Thank you. And I'm just gonna let this one fall to the edge of this. Because they don't go beyond their gardens, so why should I? We found the other end of the wall. Oh, it looks like I was just off on it. Oh well. Sweet. I need every block I can get though. This is just to keep all the little guys out, right? Don't want spiders walking in. What am I hearing? I said just okay. I know what I'm hearing behind me. It just for some reason it sounded like I heard one on the outside. I'm like, no, don't be out there, dude. Oh 
good. Yeah, sorry guys, this is not an area I prefer to be working in. Here, I'll walk around, okay? Just here. all this part, but I'm not sweating that. The idea is to find the village, protect the village, right? I don't care where those blocks are popping up. Okay, except for that one. <laughs> wow, for real, dude. Oh, no, wait, I can't do that crap. Villages are done, they will drop it. I do have to take it to the outside. Excellent. Are here growling? Hey, they got a cave here somewhere. They're hiding under, and they're getting mad. See, they're getting like it never ceases to amaze me how they have a house and a door 100 miles high. I had to give them that exit. There was a guy just sitting in there forever when I first found this place. See, the dark's already coming, guys, and I'm already keeping these guys outside to the best of my individual ability. Good. Got a nice double wall there. It's already covered here. And then we'll light up the place to make sure there's nothing spawning on the inside. Crap. Oh my goodness. for in here, I'll light the place up with nice lighting, because it's nice inside here, right? I want to make it cool, or as cool as possible, because then they'll get more active during the night instead of always hiding so much. Oof, there's a grand entrance right there for you. Not anymore. That's right. Bye, pig. I need somebody else's bacon. No, seriously. Like you're gone, you're done. Oh, and I know exactly what I forgot before I came here. Awesome. Better late than ever, right? So it even benefit their gardens. So we'll just light it up, eh? Benefits the area. Minimizes spawning. Minimizing danger. Cruelly. Well, I've got other stuff to build with, so yeah, that's fine. I have to have a crafting table, sorry. <laughs> it will be required. We can get away with that. I need more lighting over here. Better safe than sorry. Doo -doo -doo. There these guys go. Look at that fresh from the nether just for you, huh? Glowstone. Light up your neighborhood more. We don't want anything spawning here on us. Anywhere. This is all part of serving protecting, right? I already hear somebody came inside. And he's drugged. Awesome. So not just getting in, they're under the influence. Alright. There's another one. Come on. Yeah, I'm on, stupid. Down below. 
Just late took the outside area, stops him from spot him right there. I can always torch the area. Not literally, just figuratively. Of spawning, so I will light it up as much as I have to. <laughs> I should show you my other one. <laughs> that one's way overdone. And it is like glowstone central. I littered the area. Here, I'll put you on ground level for you guys. Yeah, you can stand on it. Now I can't risk anything. All the scent has to go. I don't need them jumping and trying to get to that. I do not want villagers getting out, and I do not want creatures getting in. It's just that simple. And I know they can't jump up on that. I will get my wall risen higher. That's not a big issue. We just wanted to accomplish today locating a village we can use, getting it set up and ready, definitely protected. Cover all bases, make sure you got no dark areas. Make sure your villagers have easy access to everything, can get in and out of everything. And then set yourself up an area where you're gonna do most of your work. So if they got a watchtower area somewhere they don't go and climb, that's probably your best bet. It's usually one somewhere. This looks like one here for us. Sweet. Oh look, I've already been here. I know that. <laughs> totally forgot about that though. Ooh, somebody's growly. He's all mad he can't get in here. Oof, and he's underground too. He really sounds like he's inside though. Can't be, but he sounds like it. I might have to dig a hole and kick some zombie. Oh, he is in here. I'm gonna spawn before I found him. Beat you with a shovel, though. Beat you with an axe. Or sword, sorry. Alright. Just gotta make sure he's got nowhere to spawn. Zero risks, man. If it looks remotely dark, give it some light. They will spawn anywhere. Excellent. I think we're pretty close to good now. That's the main reason I wanted the crafting table, but now I'm, I think I'm out of wood. Whoops, I took it in the wrong but Yeah, I'm out of wood now, so I'll have to get more. We'll come back to that in the next broadcast. We're going to have to prep there. See, I still need more lighting. Holy crowly. But i got to check the whole outside. I'm not sure if they got anything to stand on to get over the wall either. That's always a possibility. Yeah, here he comes, wait, let's see what he's got. What do you got, buddy? You got something over there, don't you? I'll put it in. Oh, we'll I'll be waiting first, there we go. Hmm. Didn't exactly want to block the window, I don't want to upset these guys, but... It's life. Haha. Uh -huh. This wall was brought to you by... United States brand new president Donald Trump. <laughs> it's meant to keep everything out. Alright. Oh no. Damn it. Got a bad spot to stand and that sheep thing's irritating me. Got it. This stuff breaks easy, right? Oh, I ain't got time for easy, sorry. Blank. There we go. 
you know, your spots anywhere else. I don't care, we'll make them anyway. I just want to guarantee you that that's good over there. I can do other stuff offline, fix up, tweak it to my likings. The idea of this was just to get the rundown, right? Make sure you've located a village and you know what to do to protect it. Doesn't if you want to go all out and build a big, huge wall all the way around the outside, you can, or you can, you know, just like I showed here, take shortcuts just to box in the area and the villagers. So, I, because of the resources I had available, that's I ended up shortcutting it and just had enough to do that. So it did work out to my favor. I did get lucky on that one. And you see I came with torches because it's the easiest resource to come across. If you do have glowstone to spare, feel free to use it. When I go to the nether, I definitely don't waste time taking all m desperate measures to get as much of it as I can. So I do do slightly more risky things and I have suffered the consequences of those risks, but I've also reaped a few benefits. So I like glowstone way better than torches and trust me if you get lucky enough to ever get your hands on a silk touch pickaxe you're loving it but I'll probably be able to show you that as well with what I have in plan here it's not just about defending and protecting them and building walls there's a lot of benefits and rewards from having villages and dealing with the villages and that's what we're going to be going through some people just write them off others just who knows? <laughs> I'll say I've left some villages and ruined myself. <laughs> but now that I've learned that there can be some benefits to them of all sorts. Look at all these guys, man. Wow, this is a very prosperous village. And now the more prosperous because I helped out. And I'm going to keep helping out. And I'm going to show you exactly why we're doing that. So we'll get to the next step in the next video here. I hope you enjoyed this. Please give it a like. Help the channel grow give me a subscription that would be super awesome thumbs up comments whatever you have and if you got something interesting would like some help in one of your worlds like me to visit you definitely let me know that send a friend request I'm me on my couch on the PS4 network you can always shoot a message to me as the couch gamer here on YouTube and I'll gladly respond I will be hopefully if I'm lucky by Christmas coming to PC I look forward to that. I'm really excited about it. And in the future, who knows, maybe we'll even make it to Xbox. Alright, uh, I've had a good adventure with you. I'm glad this went as smooth as it did. I was prepared for the worst. <laughs> Y'all have a great one. I'll see you next time. There are monsters in this house. What the hell? This house went dead. This is the problem. Hold up, and we got a creeper too, so this is going to be exciting. goodness I cannot believe what I just found. Hey you, I'll smack you. <laughs> Come on out. Yeah, that's right. Let's just get this over with. Bye. <laughs> Why are they spawning in here? So this house did go... No, even got a torpedo. It's not enough. See? See? This is why we do this. We will solve the problem for this house. Maybe the fellows will come back and live it. There we go. I hope that's the end of it. Maybe we can finally end this broadcast. I'm going to have to go do a sweep. My god, this is like an episode of... The, what is Walking Dead, eh? <laughs> Monsters are in the houses. And the residents are afraid. So, while I continue doing sweeps, remember... Mm -hmm. Life's a big game, so jump in and let's have some fun. I'm the Couch Gamer, hope you enjoyed this today. I look forward to seeing you on the next broadcast. Where's the monsters? Ah!